Did it well twice, singled in the first. And hit a shot back through the mound that caromed off Adam Jorgensen right to the second baseman Turner. He was thrown out 1-4-3 to begin the fourth. And last time up, Jorgensen hit him with two outs in the sixth. E3. Justin Turner and Evan MacArthur. One pitch, and Prettyman goes the short way. Pisano could not be any more efficient than he was to get him out of the eight. Still took six strong innings, really stronger than those uh, final numbers make it look. He was throwing a one-hit shutout through four for a team that has lost nine straight meetings to the Titans. Cal State Fullerton's most impressive arm has been that of Adam Jorgensen, who threw four innings of one-hit shutout ball in relief of Jared Clark. Sergio Pedroza says his all-time favorite book is Tony Gwynn's Art of Hitting. And as far as Tony's concerned, he probably would prefer to have one fewer reader tonight than he's had. That's one book that he wouldn't mind staying on the shelf. Sergio, the Titans homer and RBI leader. Pretty well struck, but right to the second baseman. Pepper and Brucker gets Sergio Pedroza to begin the eighth. And to get it out of the infield for the first time. Looks at... That went inside, 2-0. Oh. Now uh, giving his son the benefit of all his knowledge. Blocked by Zawadzki, recovers, fires, and gets it! Sawatsky robbing Chris Hill for the second straight time. He single his last two trips. Scored their first run back in the fifth. Tonight. It's going to hang up for McClintock. And San Diego State trying to end the nine-game losing streak in this series. Eight and 26 all-time against the Titans. To and Fullerton, the defending national champs, trying to extend their winning streak to eight straight. State and Cal Riverside. Another high chopper is going to be a tough play for the second baseman. Turner, he got it. Terry. pitch to hit, at least in terms of placement, right down the middle, one and one. Very walk to lead off the game and begin the starter, Jared Clark's two innings of misery. Those are their last 12 games. A one, two, three ninth turned in by Pestano. And to the bottom of the night, Evan MacArthur, Ronnie Prettyman, and Blake Davis do up for Cal State Fullerton. Toward the line and right, McClintock has the first out. Home runs. 36 driven in. Good breaking. In those four, he allowed only a double to MacArthur. Nobody on Blake Davis. Maybe thinking about bunting his way on. 0 for 3. Only one home run for the sophomore. And he hits this one directly to Pepper. It looked like he was scrambling, like it was going to fool him. He went exactly to the spot where it fell, and he got there right when it came down. The ball in the gap, he didn't think he ever would. Coming in a few steps here, Dorn and Castano has retired all seven as Texas faced. In the bottom of the tenth, Curtis and then the top of the order do us. Flies out to Scaparata. Down since that last hit. Top of the order here, Trevor Mortensen, the left fielder, who has singled.
Brian Turner at the moment. As a high throw to Tim O'Brien is brought down the, before losing seven to three. For Tony Gwynn, their fifth extra inning game. They're two and two. This is the first extra inning game for Cal State Fullerton this year. Hasn't squared around yet, and the attention of Brockard still focused fly to center, and last time a fly to right. Again, taking all the way. Three balls in the strike. The 3-1. No threat since the 3 2 pitch hit it. I'm sure I'll have to talk about the last pitch that Pedroza hit. I mean, it was a fastball that he had out in the sixth inning. We're trying to go away. It was the ball that got middle in. So Rusty Filter just reminding him of the scouting report in this situation. Lefty lefty. Bruckert's first pitch bounces in. The 2 0. Pedroza came about as close as you can to ending this thing, but he's robbed as San Diego State, a very poor defensive team all year. Has it looked like that team at all to double here in the 11th? For and Barry. Nice job hit by McClintock. Take this slider down and away. Stay on it. Shoot it out the right. You see right off the bat, he thinks this ball's going to go foul. Kind of stopped running out of the box, but... Fair by a good 10 feet down the right field line. Pedroza runs it down, but a big leadoff double. And for San Diego State, they have their first extra base hit. And Pestano evidently will get another hitter. Lance Zawatsky, the third baseman, get the button, and it'll bring the left hander in after that. Swing it away has not sacrificed all year and he doesn't hear either Dorn moving over to left from center has the first out hit well, a huge win this would be a frustrating season for Tony Gwynn his team nine games under 500 on the year defending Mountain West regular season champs 12 and 9 in the league this year now he's got Turner sneaking in and he almost boy Turner barely snowballs that one Tony was uh, simply asking them to observe their own bylaw they had a series snowed out at Air Force Not that much pitching the conference said we'll make it a four game series go figure that he was right they admitted he was right but they said sit out on this swing he's going to reach out and get it you see that glove come down in a minute see <laughs> that and a line drive to the first baseman they led three nothing into the bottom of the fifth it's been three three since the bottom of the sixth fielder scaparata with a good break on it but rick vanderhoek the third base coach taking the chance to send him the entire way and pill able to score easy Fullerton doing the little things in that last inning. They come away with a win. So after four and a half scoreless combined innings of relief, Dan Bruckert suffers his second loss. Cal State Fullerton extending its winning streak to 10 straight over San Diego State, eight straight overall, 34 and 11 on the year. As they win this one in 11, four to three. For